Hi, I'm Faye Bryant. I'm a woman, wife, mom, mother-in-law, grandmother, and friend. I help people through my work as an author, as a motivational speaker, and as a purpose coach. I am foremost, though, a believer in Jesus Christ, and I share that faith with you here pretty regularly. You gotta love life when it happens, right? Let's take a look today at today's scripture, and we'll have a little talk. Do it. Hi, Faye Bryant here um, in a different place. I'm in Muddy Pond, Tennessee um, at the Sargam Mill for something different. We're talking about boundaries and seasons today. And I thought, what better place to talk about seasons than a place where we're celebrating the harvest. So here, let's talk. Oops, let me get my notes. Okay, we're looking at Psalm 74, 17. You set the boundaries of the earth and you made both summer and winter. Let's talk. Things are so different right now. Have you ever noticed that many of the Psalms in the Bible talk about God's attributes and accomplishments. The psalmist wrote the words either as a prayer to God or a song about God. Everything from God being a strong tower, knowing us in the womb and protecting Israel to today's focus first. Mm, trying to keep y'all where you can see what's going on around here. I love that mule in the background and I'm not talking about Jack. Nothing, nothing is too great or too small to speak in admiration of the one true and living God. Some folks believe in continental drift that says all the continents were once one huge landmass. Some Christians believe that when God banished Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden is when the continents separated. Is that the way God created it? Did he move them when sin entered into creation? I don't know, and I'm not going to speculate. I figure I'll find that out in heaven. However, I do know that scripture talks in multiple places about how God carved out the oceans, set hills and mountains, limited the seas, and here again we see where the psalmist recalls that God set the boundaries of the earth. Now, the Amplified Bible says these boundaries are those of land masses separated from bodies of water. God set that up. They didn't just happen. God did that so humans would have places to live, to build, to thrive. Not only that, he made the seasons, summer and winter. Side note, do you think maybe he only mentions those two because spring and fall are transition seasons? I don't know, just one of those questions that wiggled through my mind. Many of us don't like winter, but it serves a very important purpose on this old planet. For farmers, it's the downtime to the land and to them. Oh sure, there are winter crops, but they generally don't require the tending that the summer crops do. Many pests are killed or cut back by the cold of winter. Equipment can be repaired, restored, or replaced. The farmer who worked 16 to 20 hour days during the growing season can now take some time off. Resting mind, body, soul, and spirit. For those of us who aren't farmers, it's a downtime of rest too. Face it y'all, if we didn't have winter, we would never slow down. We would be going, going, going all the time. You know I'm right. We are just not designed for that. My dad, who was born in 1923, worked on farms to help support his family. He told of being excited when the one farmer put electric lights in the barn. How wonderful to be able to turn on a switch and have light to see. How wonderful to be able to work longer into the night and start earlier in the morning. He began to rethink that excitement. Regardless what we think of boundaries or seasons, we have to marvel at the one who designed and accomplished both. 
the creator who knew ahead of time exactly how we would be planned ahead for all contingencies. He even made all those things beautiful. Maybe we should make a habit of focusing on God's attributes more than we ask him for things. Perhaps we should talk about all the things he has done and been more often. We might even get started on that today. What's one thing you know God has done that you can't help but be amazed by? Choose something from scripture or your own life. Share that. Let's lift him high today. Coffee, Bible, journal. Y'all, it's harvest time. These guys are working hard. They have been for weeks. And soon it'll be winter time. And they will not be working as hard. But they'll still have work to be done. This is us in everyday life, in our walk, in our faith walk. And what we will do is we will slow down, but not quit. We will rest, but not stop. This is our faith walk. We spend the time to get to know God in this downtime. We spend the time getting to know and love each other in this downtime because we're not as busy doing the things that we think we have to do. Hmm. Yeah, I hear you. So today, let's talk about some of the things that are amazing about God. Share it in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. And listen, enjoy your downtime. Enjoy the boundaries that God has set for you. They're all good. All good. Until next time, I'm Faye Bryant. Bye. Hey, Faye Bryant back again. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you find these scriptures and the encouragement that goes with them beneficial to your faith walk. I would love to hear from you. Drop a comment below and let me know what you're thinking, what you feel about what's been said. Let me know if it helps. Just let me know. And listen, if you want to be sure you don't miss any of these, click the subscribe button below and be sure to click the bell so you get notifications when every video goes live. I hope that you have a fabulous day walking out your faith. Bye.